Hello Woodland Wildcats, this is Miss Hill, your mindfulness guide. Today I have my awesome assistant with me, Ben. Ben, can you say hello? hello? I'm so glad that we all get to practice some mindfulness together today. We are in the SOL testing time of the year and have begun to learn some practices to use to de-stress for tests. And it's common for students to feel stress and pressure before a test. Since our minds and our bodies, they are connected, stress can affect us physically. Common symptoms of stress could be stomach aches, you could get headaches, you get sweaty palms, shaky legs, feeling really, really tired, or sometimes even a fast heartbeat. And these are all signals that our bodies are getting ready to test, and they might need some soothing or attention to bring more peace and ease to the experience. Have you ever gotten stressed before a test? No? So you're one of the people that stress tests aren't a big deal, right? Well, we all have things that we have to perform for. And so when we are stressed, our body constricts, which means to tighten up like this. And when we tighten up, it's hard to breathe, our blood to circulate and energy to flow because we're so tight, okay? It can make it really hard to think and focus too. So we can assist our bodies by opening up and stretching with the breath. So today we're gonna to do a series of arm movements to open things up to get our energy back into flow. And I learned these this weekend with a friend that took a yoga class that taught me these. Her name is Sarah, so we'll thank you. Thank you to Sarah. It's been really helpful to do this before testing. It can be good to take a break during testing and to relieve stress after testing. And once you learn the sequence, you can do it whenever you need to. So what we're gonna do, if you're not already, you're gonna sit in your chair, or you can stay on the ground if you're in the ground. And we're gonna inhale together and allow our arms to float up through the center of our body like this. To the sky, and we're exhale by pushing our energy down around our body. Yep. Okay, keeping your hands here, we're gonna push the hands um, back to the center and inhale. And then we're gonna push the hands back out. Expanding our chest. Okay, and we're gonna do inhale, arms float back up. And exhale, dropping the elbows down to the sides. Inhale back up to the sky. And now we're gonna push it down through the center of our body. Okay, so that's a pretty big sequence. But let's do one more round together. And just follow along with me or Ben. Ready? Inhale, arms float up through the center of our body. And exhale, pushing the energy down around your body. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, pushing the hands back out. Expanding our chest, good job. Inhale, arms are gonna flow back up. We're gonna exhale, dropping both elbows down to the sides, inhale back up to the sky. And exhale, pushing the energy back down through the center of your body. And now just pause to notice how you feel. You might notice some opening across your chest, some energy moving around your body, some heat flowing. And if not, you could do a couple more rounds. I usually do about five to 10. So do as much as you need. And when I practice this stressed or constricted, I do it all throughout the day. Really get my energy moving and flowing. So let's call this practice the opening flow. And how did it feel for you, Ben? Good. Good, did you feel some opening? Yeah. Excellent, thank you for being my assistant today. And if you see me around the building, let me or Ben know what it was like for you. Beautiful job, Wildcats.